Hello, and welcome to this video on correlations and scatter plots in R Studio. We're going to begin in R by creating some variables for which we will then generate a scatter plot and also some correlations. So let's pretend for the moment that you are a health psychologist, or perhaps a physiological psychologist, or perhaps some kind of sports or exercise psychologist, and you're very interested in the measurement of blood pressure, an important dependent variable for these fields. So what we'll do is we'll pretend that you're going to sample 1,000 people, and you're going to get their blood pressure reading, and we'll just, for simplicity, deal with the systolic blood pressure. You might remember from your high school biology class that we have a systolic blood pressure and also a diastolic blood pressure, and we typically report the systolic first. So we're going to model that we have something like a normal distribution of systolic blood pressure, and we're going to have 1,000 people in our sample, hypothetically, and we'll pretend that the systolic blood pressure is around 110, plus or minus a standard deviation of 10. And just to recall from an earlier video, we have here the R norm command. That's taking random numbers from a normal distribution. A normal distribution is one that's bell-shaped. It has a lot of scores clustered toward its mean. Its mean would be 110. And then we fall off from the mean with a standard deviation of about 10 units, and we'll get 1,000 such scores, and we'll put it into a variable that we will call BP, um, actually we'll call it SBP, and that is going to be systolic blood pressure, and this will be the first time that we're measuring this, and we'll come back later on and take a second measure, but if we hit enter, you can see that over here on the right-hand side, we now have a vector, which is to say a long list of hypothesized uh, blood pressure values that are going to be approximately 110, and they're going to vary around 110 by about 10 units. Okay, we have 1,000 such numbers. So we'll pretend that you, as a sports psychologist, have measured 1,000 people on blood pressure during this first measurement on systolic blood pressure, and we'll come back a week later and do that again, and you might imagine that we would have similar but slightly different blood pressure readings on these same 1,000 people. In order to show that we have some variability in our scores, we're going to create some variability here by, uh, again, generating some kind of distribution of scores that are normally um, sequenced or normally distributed, and they'll have, on average, no deviation from their previous measure, but uh, occasionally there'll be, you know, some increase or decrease in systolic blood pressure by about 10 units. So once again, we'll create an R norm distribution, We'll imagine that this is going to reflect the variability from the preceding measurement, um, and it's going to have a variability on average of zero, so pretty much the same as last time, but it will swing a little bit up by 10 units or down by 10 units, and we will call this variability noise. And the reason we do that is lots of statisticians refer to this random variability from one measurement to the next as noise some uh, just sort of measurement variability, we'll call that noise, and I'll click on enter one more time, and now we have a noise profile. And we could uh, pretend that if the participants came back the next week and we measured them one other time, we could generate some kind of systolic blood pressure um, measurement, uh, and this would have a strong correlation with the very first measurement, plus or minus some variability that we'll call noise. So one way of modeling this is very simply to assume that the current blood pressure is going to be equal to the very first blood pressure plus the variability. So we're going to take SBP1, that's going to be the systolic blood pressure, measured at time 1, and we'll just hypothetically pretend that we've got this uh, this measurement from the first person, we'll add that person's noise. It might have been zero, but it might have been slightly less than zero or slightly greater than zero. We're going to add those two numbers together, and we're going to get an estimate of their systolic blood pressure now at time two. Okay, so here's their blood pressure at time one, here's their blood pressure at time two. Those numbers are very similar to each other, plus or minus some expected variability. We can do that for the first participant, the second, the third, all the way down the line for the 1,000 people that we have in our hypothesized sample. And we'll click on that, and oops, I have one too many arrows in my, uh, in my arrow uh, symbol. We'll try that again, and over here now we have a systolic blood pressure two, and here are the 1,000 scores, plus or minus some amount of noise, okay? So we have that as our two sets of 
blood pressure measurements across these thousand people at two different times, time one and time two. Why don't we see if those are correlated? And in R, the correlation really couldn't be simpler. We simply type in core as our command, and we'll put in SBP1, that's systolic blood pressure, at time one, and we'll correlate that with systolic blood pressure at time two, that's SBP2. We'll click on Enter, and we'll find that we have a correlation of 0.71 that's relatively strong. That is to say that the blood pressure at time one was pretty predictive of blood pressure at time two. Okay, so that's the R value. You might remember that the R ranges between negative one and positive one. Okay, the last thing that we might want to do is just get a, a look at all of those data, and we can get that by creating a scatter plot where we can have the blood pressure at time one on the x-axis and at time two on the y-axis. We can put in plot SBP1 for our x-axis and SBP2 for our y-axis, and we'll click on enter, and immediately we get the blood pressure here for x. You can see it's nicely correlated with that for uh, the y variable, that's the time two variable, but there's some scatter, that is to say there's some noise, which we modeled just a moment ago. Okay, so in this video, we randomly generated a thousand scores that corresponded to blood pressure. We added some variability to those scores to model what we might see at time two on the same kind of measure, blood pressure. And then we found the correlation, which was about 0.71 on a scale that ranges between negative one, positive one, with zero meaning no correlation, and we've created a scatter plot of all of our data. Thanks for watching.